When the world's elite gather at the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters, every minute is precious. To find out what it's like to be there, we spent the day with a man in demand, Monaco resident Milos Radic. First thing I do, I wake up and I see my physio. Uh, we sort of uh, get my body ready for what's ahead. I'll go, oh, I'll eat. I'll spend an hour in the gym before the first practice, depending how long I practice, maybe come back into the gym again, and then sort of do that whole thing and then see the physio at the end of the day. So days end up getting very long very quickly, even though you might not feel you're always spending a lot of time on court. With everything else you do for preparation, to be as good on court as possible it ends up being a long day. The day is busy. I mean, uh, last couple of years, actually, he's playing very early. First matches normally here in Monte Carlo, and so uh, we are at the club before 8 o'clock. So that's when our day starts and it's finishing late in the afternoon with all the recovery and, and everything what Milos has to do with the media and sponsors. Well, it's just really adjusting your day to the times uh, when uh, your media slot is. You practice before and if you want after as well. It's beautiful weather here, so it's been a great day for training. To coordinate everything, it takes uh, good communication between all, all the parts of the team. It is pretty much 12 hours job a day, a player gets used to it, so you know, it just becomes normality. So uh, Miloš is an incredibly determined and professional athlete that, that it's, it's, he's able to, to coordinate everything. Well, this tournament definitely is the most scenic tournament around the world, uh, with the best views. I don't think there's a single other event that's so close to seaside, and it's great to be in the city of Monaco for this tournament. I reside here, and to really be somewhere familiar for me is a big bonus. It's been incredibly consistent on, on the Masters 1000 level for the last year and a half. And I'm glad, obviously, to see that he keeps playing, playing well basically every week. And this is, this is a must. If you want to really get close to the top guys, you have to give yourself chances week after week and play them and then hopefully beat them. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, it's clay all the way. We're behind the scenes in Barcelona and Bucharest. And it's never too late. We catch up with the ATP World Tour's oldest first-time champion, Victor Estrella Burgos. And don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.